What's going on today, YouTube? There's been a new release for Style TTS, so I'm going to cover that today and then also some updates on the audiobook maker. So let's jump into it. First up, let me talk about the audiobook maker. So I've been making steady progress along with it and have um, incorporated Tortoise TTS into the audiobook maker. And I'm now validating that Tortoise TTS works. So give a quick sample of that real quick. So I've got the interface right here. I can select tortoise and then I can load the parameters. So I'm going to put these parameters in here, load the TTS engine. And so we get confirmation that the TTS engine has loaded. I'm gonna select a text file and then start. Um, well, let me name this real quick, start audiobook generation. And then it's going to start running through the process. So um, here you can see that it's generating um, locally. You don't need to call an API anymore for it. And you'll see sentences start to appear. So we can play all from selected. So there you go. It does, in fact, play. And this does work with English. I was just testing Japanese as that's going to be my usage case for it. Now, I do want to add a couple of additional things. So this interface is going to change above the um, tortoise loading area or the TTS loading area on this right hand side here. I'm actually going to move these RVC parameters over here so that you can select a do RVC button. And then I'm going to figure out a way to highlight and select sentences um, to use different speakers. So I am working on that functionality right now, brainstorming uh, with myself on how I am going to try and accomplish that. And I think I'll be able to get that implemented, but um, I, I assume I'm going to run into several bugs. So I may instead opt to add uh, the style TTS2 engine in here and get that tested. But since I'm validating with Tortoise TTS and I already kind of know what I need to do um, for an alternative TTS engine, I think maybe I'll hold off on this and just start working on some of the core logic with one model so that once I get uh, complete or once I finish all of it, I don't have to go back and change all of these different um, functions that I maybe have hard coded because I'm trying to make this as modular as possible. So um, I have ideas on how I'm going to implement that, but uh, that'll be coming in the near future. So as of right now, you can follow my updates on the version three branch of the audiobook maker, um, but there are no installation instructions for it yet. So that will be coming um, as I finish more and more of the functionality. But I think this is going to be pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to be using it to make audiobooks myself. And uh, because of that, I want to make it as good as possible. So that is a bulk majority of what I have been working on. And now I want to talk about a new release of Style TTS. Okay, so Style TTS ZS has been released. And the authors claim that um, this model surpasses previous state of the art a large scale zero shot TTS models in naturalness and similarity while being able to be 10 to 20 times faster um, or reducing inference speed by 90%. So that is huge and that is uh, pretty exciting. Um, the previous version of Style TTS was open sourced and released. I believe the author right now is compute strained. So if anybody has lots of compute that they're able to sponsor, please reach out and maybe we can get this open sourced and released. Um, that would be pretty awesome. But with that, let's, let's just first take a listen to some of these examples and uh, I'll talk about them as we go. So here's the first one, prompt Mark Zuckerberg, style TTS, and then VoiceCraft. Now, VoiceCraft is another model out there that um, I showed on my channel that could do text editing, but it could also do text-to-speech. So let's take a listen. So our team developed the first speech-to-speech -speech AI translation. The rapid development of large-scale text-to-speech models has led to significant advancements in modeling diverse speaker prosody and voices. However, these models often face issues such as slow inference speeds, reliance on complex pre-trained neural codec representations, and difficulties in achieving naturalness and high similarity to reference speakers. The rapid development of large-scale text-to-speech models has led to significant advancements in modeling diverse speaker prosody and voices. However, these models often face issues such as slow inference speeds, reliance on complex pre-trained neural codec representations, and difficulties in achieving naturalness and high similarity to reference speakers. 
All right, and then we'll listen to the Sam Altman example. It's probably like not that great of a startup idea. And I totally understand. Our model surpasses previous state of the art large scale zero shot text to speech models in both naturalness and similarity, offering a 10 to 20 times faster sampling speed, making it an attractive alternative for efficient large scale zero shot text to speech systems. Our model surpasses previous state of the art large scale zero shot text to speech models in both naturalness and similarity, offering a 10 to 20 times faster sampling speed, making it an attractive alternative for efficient large scale zero shot text to speech systems. And so there are plenty of more examples to go listen to. I would recommend taking a look at their demo page here. Um, I'm not going to cover all of them, but Style TTS ZS does sound pretty fantastic for being able to be so fast. Um, and we'll take listen to or we'll go down to one more section, which I found interesting, which is the speech editing portion. And so the only other model that I thought was able to do this was voice box voice craft, because the way that it was trained was that it would predict uh, the masked portion. So it would have context of the speech after. So it would be able to smoothly um, edit speech. And well, let's take a listen to the speech editing right here. We'll take a listen to the second one here. So I'm going to do original, then I'm going to go one by one to the right here. And especially as I'm not very much up in Latin myself, he said, the suit was on insurance policy that he was defending on the ground of misinterpretations. And especially as I'm not very much up in Latin myself, he said, the suit was on a classified treasure map that he was defending on the ground of misinterpretations. And especially as I'm not very much up in Latin myself, he said, the suit was on a classified treasure map that he was defending on the ground of misinterpretations. And especially as I'm not very much up in Latin myself, he said, the suit was on a classified treasure map that he was defending on the ground of misinterpretations. Okay, and um, that was pretty natural when it switched to a classified treasure map instead of an insurance policy for style TTS and then also voice craft, but it had a little bit of pause after map. Uh, voice box was not too close. And this would be pretty awesome to be able to have in a local model. Um, but that's all of the examples I'm going to cover from the style TTS ZS demo page. And we'll talk a little bit about um, what we know so far about the repository. So from the intentions of uh, Aaron here, the author, it seems like he is going to open source the code for it. But he's currently working on some other things that he needs to finish up um, before he can uh, get started and uh, start cleaning this up and posting all the code here. So I believe the code is going to be open sourced. I don't know what's going to happen with the model um, because the model apparently needs lots of compute in order to train on. So we'll see um, how that works, uh, who's able to sponsor, who's able to run these um, models, who's able to come up with some pre-trained models. Um, so we'll see this probably dynamically uh, change as, uh, as this gets built. Um, I have taken a hash at trying to um, piece together some code that he has released uh, to the people that are in the Discord um, to convert Jupyter Notebooks into Python files. So currently working through uh, some of that right now, but I'm running into some issues that um, there are some imports or some lines that I don't know where it's referencing to. It's kind of a big scavenger hunt right now. I'm not a machine learning scientist or engineer, so a lot of this is way beyond my level of competence at the current moment, but um, I do have enough competence to put together code and uh, figure out what all the imports are to. So as long as that exists, we should be able to get some code um, for training going. But that is the current state of the Style TTS ZS project. It is currently under uh, development and construction, but we'll probably see this get released within these next couple of months. So this might be a new library I focus on just because Style TTS 2 has been very fantastic. It's very fast and the quality of it is very good. So very excited for this and uh, we'll see more of this coming along. Yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Just a quick update on all things I've been working on. And um, yeah, if anyone has lots of compute out there, please let us know so that we could probably try to get a pre-trained model for Style TTS ZS up and um, shared and going. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Once again, I'd like to thank all the members of my channel for supporting me. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.